Hello, beloved. I hope this message finds you well. The Lord bless you. Very quickly, I want to speak on what I titled, Peace Be Still. I want to speak in the next five, six minutes on the topic I titled, Peace Be Still. In the book of Mark chapter 4, Mark chapter 4, verse 37 and 39, the Bible said, And there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship so that it was not full. And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on the pillow. And they awake him and said unto him, Master, carry us that we perish. Verse, verse 39. Um, and he arose, and he arose and rebuked the wind, and said unto the sea, Peace be still. Peace be still. And the wind ceased. And there was a great calm. I am speaking briefly on what I titled, Peace Be Still. Ladies and gentlemen, I have come to discover there are two weapons the devil is using to fight humanity this entire. There are two weapons the devil is using to fight humanity, to fight mankind, to fight minister, to fight great personality this entire. What is that two weapons? Number one is the storm. Number two is the wind. But the greatest among these two is the wind. Now, I'd like you to understand that your life, your destiny, your marriage, your business, your, your job, your academics is like a boat that is moving in the sea. It's like a ship that is moving in the sea. Now, the Bible says Jesus was in the boat with his disciples. The devil brought a great storm, great storm. Why did he bring the storm? To disturb their peace, to blow them to the wrong direction. I've come to discover three reasons why the devil bring that storm into your life. He, why the devil bring that storm into your life? Now, firstly, before I give you the three reasons, the Bible said Jesus, the Bible said the devil, a great storm arose against the boat, and Jesus, he awoke, the Bible said he awoke, he rebuked the wind. He awoke, he, that chapter we read, he rebuked the wind. He didn't rebuke the storm. Why did Jesus rebuke the storm? Je, why did Jesus rebuke the wind? He didn't rebuke the storm, he rebuked the wind. Jesus rebuked the wind because it is the wind that breaks the storm. The storm that is blowing in your marriage now, the storm that is blowing in your, your finances now, it is the wind that breaks the storm. Right now, this morning, I want to decree by the authority in the name of Jesus. I don't know the wind that is blowing currently against your marriage. I don't know the wind that, that is blowing against your job, your finance. Today, I decree and declare in the name of Jesus, I rebuke the wind. And I say, peace be still in the name of Jesus. Now, what are the three reasons? I discovered that, that made the devil to bring... Uh, to bring uh, to bring the, the, the uh, theory is why the devil, why, why the storm came. Theory is why the, why the wind came. Why the, why, we, why the wind came to disturb the boat of Jesus. Theory is why Satan bring the wind to blow against your marriage, to blow against your job, against your fellow. Theory is number one, the devil bring the wind to, uh, you know, to blow against your, against you for, uh, for theory is reason number one. To scatter what you have gathered. The devil bring the storm. He bring the wind to blow against you. Against your business. Against your ministry. Against your finances. Against your job. Against your business. For three reasons. Reason number one. To scatter what you have gathered. Reason number two. To, to blow you in order to disturb your peace. The Bible said, why Peter and the rest were with Jesus in the boat? They had no peace. They said, Master, carry those that will perish. So the devil, I repeat, he bring the wind to blow against you for three reasons. Reason number one, to scatter what you have gathered. The devil brought that wind to blow against your, your marriage. Why? To scatter what you and your partner you have gathered. The devil brought that, that wind to blow against your business. Why? To scatter what you have gathered. The devil brought that wind against your job. Why? To scatter what you have gathered. The devil brought that wind against your family. Why? To scatter what you have gathered. Number two, to blow you, in, to blow you, to blow you that home in order to disturb your peace in that business, in order to disturb your peace in that home, in order to disturb your peace in that family. 
receive no bacteria, the devil breathe the weed. He breathe the weed to blow you to the wrong direction. When the devil bring a satanic demonic weed to blow against your home, he blows the husband to the wrong direction. He blows the woman to the wrong direction. He scatter your home. He blow in your, your your business to scatter to to blow you to the wrong direction. To your academic hosataba. This money I came to decree. I don't know the storm that is raging against you. I don't know the storm that is raging against your home. I don't know the storm that is raging against your life. I came to decree as a prophet of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Peace be still. In your marriage, I say peace be still. In your business, I say peace be still. In your home, I say peace be still. In your earth, I say peace be still. In your life, I say peace be still. In your family, I say peace be still. In your I say peace be still. I say peace be still. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let me tell you, yeah, me, let, let, yeah, me, that the ship of Jesus, the boat of Jesus, that the storm could not capsize it. I don't know that storm that is raging against your marriage, that your marital boat. I don't know the storm that is raging against you, your financial boat, your business, your job. Today I decree that, that boat will not capsize. I said that boat will not capsize. That will relationship will not capsize in the name of Jesus. I want to give you a piece of advice, child of God. Remember, Jesus was in that boat. That was why the boat did not capsize. Irrespective of the challenge that is going on in your life, make sure that Jesus is in your boat. Remember, I told you, your life, your destiny, your marriage, your marital, your academies, your job, your finances, your business, it is like it is like a ship that is moving in the sea. It is like a boat that is moving in the river. In the case of Peter, Jesus was in the boat. Is Jesus in your boat? Is that your relationship? Is that your marriage? Is Jesus in your boat? Make sure that Jesus is in your boat. It does not matter the storm that is raging against you. Man of God, make sure that Jesus is in your boat. If Jesus is in your boat, I tell you, your boat will not capsize. If Jesus is in your boat. I said, your, your, is your, is your, is your, is your, is your boat. That boat will not capsize. That marriage will not capsize. That marriage will not scatter. That business will not scatter. In the name of Jesus, peace be still. In all the application of your life, the storm sees now. The wind sees now. In the name of Jesus, the Lord bless you. Please do me a favor. My name is Isaiah O Gabriel, Holy Ghost Son from South Africa. Do me a favor and show you share this video with all your friends and loved ones. The Lord bless you.